This is the audio for the Unit 4 test. Analyze Craft and Structure Memoir. Different people have different talents. Figuring out what those talents are and how to put them to use can make all the difference. Take my youngest brother, Bobby. Back when we were kids, my mom grew concerned about Bobby's grades. She agreed to raise my allowance if I would help tutor Bobby in math. I like Bobby. I love math. And besides, I was saving for a new game controller. I agreed. Every day after school, Bobby and I worked together on geometry. Bobby definitely improved, but what I really noticed was not his math, but his drawings. Constantly doodling in his notebook, Bobby drew crisp triangles and perfect squares that morphed into spaceships, sacred agents, rap stars. His imagination knew no limits. One day, Bobby asked for my help with an English assignment he was having trouble with, an analysis of two characters. I asked him to tell me about them. He started, well, the first guy, he's sort of, you know, here, like this. Bobby proceeded to draw a character who, from the smallest gelled hair on his perfectly groomed head, down to the sharply creased flares in his well-pressed pants, was clearly a vain egotist. Fortunately, I had a pretty good rapport with my English teacher, Mr. Mork, who also had Bobby. I showed him Bobby's drawing. He instantly recognized the character, understood the idea I was fumbling to explain, and made a plan. For several assignments that semester, Bobby would submit drawings as part of the assignment, along with a comment explaining how they connected to the assignment. Boy, what a difference these assignments made to Bobby's motivation and confidence. For the first time, I think he felt really great about school subjects. I felt good too because I had helped Bobby out, but I also saw forcefully how important and powerful a little insight into a person's skills could be. Bobby never stopped drawing. Today, he makes feature films using computer animation software. And me, I'm still trying to figure out what motivates learners. It's my job. I'm a teacher. Number one, which of the following best describes the type of writing the author uses in this passage? A, autobiographical writing, B, descriptive writing, C, persuasive writing, or D, expository writing. Number two, the following question has two parts. Answer part A first, then part B. Part A. Which statement best explains why the passage is an example of reflective writing? A, it tells about events that happened years ago. B, it shares the author's feelings about events. C, it describes a long period of the author's life. Or D, it focuses on a member of the author's family. Part B, click on the highlighted sentence from the text that best supports the answer to part A. Back when we were kids, my mom grew concerned about Bobby's grades. One day, Bobby asked for my help with an English assignment he was having trouble with an analysis of two characters. I felt good, too, because I had helped Bobby out. Or, today he makes feature films using computer animation software. Number three. Which of the following characteristics most clearly shows that this passage is a memoir. A, it focuses on a single significant experience of the writers. B, it contains theories and opinions as well as simple facts. C, it tells about the writer's experiences in school. Or D, it tells about events that occurred in the past. Analyze craft and structure. Fable. Once a lion captured a mouse and was about to eat it. Spare me, cried the mouse. I am but a small mouthful to you, yet my family needs and loves me. If you let me go, I will help you in return. The majestic lion did not think that anything so small could ever help him. Unlike the cowardly lion in the children's story, he was confident that he could face danger on his own. But he was also generous, and he mercifully let the mouse go. Years later, the lion was captured by some men. He was tied up in a cage when the mouse came by and spied him. When the men went to sleep, the mouse slipped into the cage and gnawed through the ropes. Later, when the men opened the cage to feed him, the lion was able to escape. The mouse had saved the creature who had spared him, thereby proving that kindness will be rewarded eventually. 
Number four, what is the stated theme of the story? A, kindness will ultimately be rewarded. B, the mouse saved someone who spared him. C, a large creature showed mercy on a smaller one. Or D, the lion did not think anything small could help him. Number five, which of the following statements is an implied theme of the story? A, do not let great ch changes pass by while you are sleeping. B, do not judge capability based only on appearances. C, those who love their families will show compassion to others. Or D, human beings are stronger and cleverer than the strongest beast. Number six, the following question has two parts. Answer part A first, then part B. Part A. Which of the following items is most likely told using first person, naive point of view? A, I've always believed that volunteering is the greatest way to give back to your community. That's why I encourage Sid to join the group. B, I could tell Marina was upset. When I went over, I saw a big red letter marked on her test paper. Was she upset over one letter? C, he hollered, come out, come out, wherever you are. Not a sound broke the silence. Not a sound betrayed those in hiding. D, the crowd gathered around the box, whispering among themselves. No one knew what she might have put inside. Part B, which answer choice gives the reason that best supports the answer to part A? A, the narrator uses the pronoun I and does not fully understand what he or she is narrating. B, the narrator uses the pronoun I and shares his or her own beliefs and values. C, the narrator uses the pronoun he or she and does not reveal full information about what is taking place. Or D, the narrator uses the pronoun he or she and creates a feeling of suspense about what might happen next. Analyze craft and structure. Oh, captain, my captain, Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman wrote the poem, Oh, Captain, My Captain, about the death of Abraham Lincoln. Read the poem, then answer the questions. Oh, Captain, my captain, oh, fearful trip is done. The ship has weathered every rack. The prize we sought is... Is this cut on? Yep. There we go. The prize we sought is won. The port is near. The bells I hear. The people are... People all exulting. While follow eyes... While fallow eyes, the steady keel, the vessel grim and daring. But, oh, heart, 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 oh, the bleeding drops of red, where on my deck my captain lies, foul and cold and dead. Oh, captain, my captain, rise up and hear the bells. Rise up for you, the flag is flung. For you, the bugle trills. For you, bouquets and ribbon reefs. For you, the shores a crowding. For they call the swaying mass, their eager faces turning. Here, Captain, dear father, this arm beneath you, this arm beneath your head. It's some dream that on the deck you've fallen cold and dead. My captain does not answer. His lips are pale and still. My father does not feel my arm. He has no pulse nor will. The ship is anchored safe and sound. Its voyage closed and done. From fearful, from fearful trip, the victor ship comes in with object one. Exalt all o shores and ring o bells, but I with mountful tread walk the deck my captain lies, fallen, cold, and dead. Number seven, which of the following best describes the poem? A, it follows a pattern of rhyme, so it has a formal structure. B, it has lines of varying lengths, so it has no meter. C, it has lines that rhyme, so it is written in free verse. Or D, it uses several sound devices, so it's not written in free verse. Number eight, which of the following contains the best example of consonants? A, the ship has weathered every rack, line two. B, the port is near the bells I hear, line three. C, here, Captain, dear father, line 13. Or D, his lips are pale and still, line 17.
In line 10, U bugle is an example of the sound device. Assonance, consonance, assonance and rhyme, consonance and rhyme, rhyme, assonance and consonance. In line 10, flag, flung is an example of the sound device. Alliteration and meter, alliteration, meter. Number 10, what is the meaning of suboptimal? Base your answer on your knowledge of the Latin prefix sub and the definition of the word optimal, most favorable or ideal. A, less than ideal, B, more than ideal, C, used to be ideal, or D, soon to be ideal. 11. Using your knowledge of the base word continue, what can you most logically conclude about the meaning of the word discontinuous? A, it has to do with how constant something is. B, it has to do with what something sounds like. C, it has to do with what images are produced, or D, it has to do with the size of something. 12, what is the meaning of the word bank it in the following sentence? Use context clues to help you choose the correct definition. We were all packed, however, the previous tenants had not yet moved, so we had to wait until the house was vacant before moving in. A, empty, B, complete, C, rejected, or D, occupied. 13, language development vocabulary memoir. One of my favorite things to do on a rainy day is to read graphic novels. The drawings take me to another world where anything is possible. Sometimes that includes people with strange powers, and sometimes it involves ordinary people who have amazing lives. One recent graphic novel I read told the story of how one soldier's actions caused the British to win the American Revolutionary War. The story extends to today, presenting a modern world in which the British Empire, now based in North America, is still the world's greatest power. Although the novel is fantasy, some of the conflicts it presents are typical. For example, in the novel, the British Navy starts to run out of fuel and leaders must decide whether to turn to renewable energy sources. The following question has two parts. Answer part A first, then part B. Part A. Which of the following is the meaning of the suffix I-C-A-L? A, against. B, opposite of. C, action or process. Or D, having to do with. Part B. The word topical is formed from the base word topic, meaning subject of discussion or thought. Given the answer to part A, what can you conclude is the meaning of topical in the passage? A, against the typical view of a subject being discussed. B, opposed to the discussion of certain subjects. C, having to do with subjects currently being discussed. Or D, influencing which subjects are currently being discussed. The multiple meaning word extends appears underlined in the graph in the paragraph. Its likeliest meaning in the paragraph is continues over a specified time, makes an offer of, causes to be stretched or straightened, or increases or becomes longer. Number 15. The word graphic has multiple meanings. Which of the following is most likely meaning of the word graphic as it is used in the paragraph? A, described in great detail. B, in the form of a graph. C, created using pictures. Or D, a picture or graph. Please go back and check your answers before you submit.